It's the classic image of a great NFL quarterback. He rears back, spots his target, and fires a perfect spiral. In terms of hitting a bullseye, is the NFL quarterback the world's most precise athlete? When it comes to a spiral, what's more accurate? A football thrown by an NFL Pro Bowl quarterback or an arrow fired by a world-class archer? For this experiment, we packed up the Sports Science Mobile Lab and hit the field at our outdoor testing facility. And stepping up to the challenge, NFL superstar, Drew Brees. Only the second quarterback in NFL history to throw for more than 5,000 yards in a season. This Pro Bowl quarterback was voted the 2008 NFL Offensive Player of the Year and simply has one of the best arms in the game. To throw the perfect pass, it's all about the kinetic chain. It's now just a matter of that rhythm of the energy being transferred from my feet, then to my hips, all the way up to my shoulders. And as my arm's coming through, the last thing to leave the ball is that index finger. Comes out, spins perfectly. Your receiver catches it, touchdown. To test Drew's accuracy against an Olympic archer, from 20 yards away, Drew will be zeroing in on an official Olympic archery target. In Olympic competition, archers score a 10-point bullseye if they make it inside the first two yellow circles, which is only 4.8 inches in diameter. Every kid who wants to be a quarterback starts training by trying to hit this target. The red circle on our target is the same size as a regular car tire. And the bullseye is actually one third the circumference of our football, which means good luck. It's hard to hit. It's such a small target that even Olympic archers have trouble hitting it. In the 2008 Olympics, of all the arrows shot, the world's best archers hit the bullseye less than 50% of the time. And 50% also happens to be close to the average completion rate in the NFL. We confirmed this in the lab when quarterback Josh McCown hit only 50% of our targets. So hitting a bullseye, whether it be with an arrow or by throwing an oddly shaped ball, is incredibly difficult, even for some of the most accurate athletes in the world. But can the NFL's best quarterback, Drew Brees, possibly do better than 50%? To help us analyze the flight of Drew's passes, he'll be throwing the world's most high-tech football, outfitted with custom internal accelerometers. The data from these sensors will be downloaded to a computer, which will track every aspect of the football's trajectory, including release velocity, launch angle, and spin rate. That's impressive. <laughs> so from 20 yards away, can this NFL quarterback sling it as precisely as a world-class archer? Drew, it's time to take aim. already hit an amazing six out of six bullseyes, which means if he doesn't hit another one, he's still more accurate than an Olympic archer. Drew's hit nine out of nine. Can he run the table and hit a perfect 10 out of 10? To give you 
an idea of just how accurate Drew was. Amazingly, four of his 20-yard darts hit in the dead center of the bullseye. And Olympic archers? They hit the dead center only once out of every 10 arrows. I kind of have high expectations. I mean, I always wanted to be right in here on a guy. You figure you throw it here, he shouldn't drop it. So how is Drew able to hit the bullseye with such precision? You've done it so many times, it's muscle memory. You're just thinking, you know, get rid of it as quickly as I can to the spot that I, that I want to throw it. The data from our groundbreaking high-tech football reveals the surprising secret of Drew's amazing accuracy. Drew's passes are fired with uncanny consistency. Each is released at 52 miles an hour with an identical six degree launch angle. Drew releases the ball spinning around its long axis at almost 600 RPM. That's as fast as an air wrench spins a lug nut off a NASCAR tire. This creates a gyroscopic torque. And gravity tries to pull the nose of this spinning ball downward. But the aerodynamic forces of wind flow over the ball, counterbalancing each other to keep the ball on target. Wobble occurs as the ball spins slightly off axis. It's the small circle the nose traces in the air. Surprisingly, a little wobble is necessary to keep the ball on target. And this is the amazing secret to Drew's accuracy. His passes have just the right amount of wobble. Three small wobbles for every five spins of the ball. Too much wobble is noticeable when that small circle the nose makes gets too big. A 30-yard pass with a wobble that's more than four degrees off axis can veer off target by a full five feet. I've never seen you be able to slow it down to the point where you can actually see that last fingertip come off the ball and then just the slow rotation as it tracks towards its target it is truly amazing. Does a quarterback even need to be that accurate? Absolutely. If a defender is on your receiver, sometimes you're just throwing it to that spot where only your receiver can catch it and the defender can't get to it. You know that defender's range. You know where to put the ball to where he can't get it, but your guy can. Because with defenders swarming around, it's not enough to be more accurate than an archer. A pro quarterback has to be able to thread that needle.